Jesus said to me, The devil will tempt you in my form. Be careful. I did not change anything from the exact word or language that Jesus Christ used. Let every soul hear this, as God and his Christ are my witnesses to this all-important message to the body of Christ. After saying this, the Lord Jesus Christ who spoke to me immediately turned into an identical two to portray in practical terms what he meant that the devil will tempt the church in his form. I mean Jesus turned into two and it was impossible to differentiate them except by the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that this is the end time final strategy of the devil against the church. There is danger now as the devil is deceiving people all over the world, disguising himself as Christ. And many are following him to hell without knowing because they are not careful but careless. Jesus warned that Satan will transform himself into an angel of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, 13 to 15. Heaven is disturbed that many Christians seem not to understand or take serious this very warning, and the result is telling on the church as Satan and his antichrist ministers are celebrated today by blind Christians. Believers are not discerning, neither testing the spirits or proving all things, as commanded in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, and 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Take note of the word many. Jesus warned that false Christ and false prophets shall arise and will use signs and wonders to deceive the very elect, if care is not taken, right before us. These things are happening, and the church, which is the last hope of mankind, seem to be so much asleep. Another gospel has taken over the churches outside the gospel the apostles preached. What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? The church must return to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seeking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Christ has left many churches and the Antichrist spirits have taken over. Some ministers preach grace as license for nonsense. Never had any apostle of Christ preached grace as an endorsement for sin. Grace is for godliness, not ungodliness. Any message that does not discourage you from sin, warn you against hell, and prepare you for rapture in heaven is another gospel. A minister that is not preparing you for Christ's soon return with all the signs already fulfilled is working for the Antichrist, whose spirit is already here. The Antichrist ministers are already here, and many of them are being celebrated by foolish Christians. 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. Any minister that makes the narrow way broad is an Antichrist minister. You will know them by their fruits, says the Lord. They don't care about saving people from sin, or they are making heaven. Christ coming is not their concern. These are the days of another Jesus and another gospel. So please beware. This message is coming from me, witness Ken Paul, a living witness who Christ appeared to one on one to deliver it in the authority of Jesus Christ, who is my own living witness. Hell is real, and heaven is real. Where will you spend eternity? It will be over 
any moment from now. Repent from your sin and truly make Jesus the Lord of your life. I want to be with you in heaven when Christ will come to take us home. Things are falling apart because the devil has disguised himself as Jesus and is deceiving the church. Stay rapture ready and heaven worthy. God bless you. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, why don't you pray with me? Bow your heads and pray with all your heart. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I believe you died for me and you rose again. I ask that you come into my heart and give me a new heart of righteousness. Forgive me all my sins. I renounce Satan and every works of darkness in my life. And I receive the gift of eternal life today. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen.